All right, guys, let's let her rip. Yes, yes, yes. Start launching them. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Oh, hey, it worked. Oh, hey. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Today we're testing viral Minecraft TikTok hacks that you guys submitted. I just leaked on my microphone. And we're gonna see if they work. And they're weird. Like this first one here, which is claiming that there's a brand new crafting recipe that no one's ever seen before. Four of them, as a matter of fact. So you can take diorite plus nether quartz, and supposedly that makes granite. Cobblestone and diorite make andesite. And then cobblestone and quartz make it's what? Am I stupid or have you guys never seen that before? I've never seen any of those in my life. Maybe I'm just out of the loop, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna test this right now. Oh my goodness, it actually works. I cannot believe that. Okay, you can take cobblestone and diorite and that creates andesite and it does. I literally did not know these guys. What the heck? Two of these and then two of these and it creates diorite. Well, I don't know why you'd ever want to do that, but the fact that it's possible is crazy, but the last one is the craziest. A popped chorus fruit and a blaze rod supposedly make an end rod tour. I, I never made an end rod. I just always get in creative. So I, maybe this is how you craft him and I just never knew. And there you go, that's how you do it. I didn't know a single one of those, and I just wonder how many other secret crafting recipes are out there. I mean, does this tell you? Oh, it, well, okay, all right, it, tell, it does. I had no idea. So, you're hanging out in your base, you got yourself a nice little water elevator, you're showing off to your friends, and you're like, what do you think of this water elevator? They're like, dude, that's a boring water elevator. It looks like everyone's. But you can step it up by making your water elevator invisible. Okay, so add dispensers as high as you want it. Now put empty buckets in the dispensers. Activate each dispenser from the top to the bottom. Put glass next to the dispensers. Now, I don't know why you need that. Oh, okay. Activate the pistons, which pushes glass into the pistons. He breaks it. Oh, then he breaks it, and then it just works. And look at this. Look at this. It's literally invisible. There's, like, actually nothing there. We're gonna make our super tall, because, like, why not? So, yo, this is gonna be so hard to place, though. I'm gonna have to, like, tower up to do it. This is stupid. They don't show you the struggle of this in these videos. Alright, that's high enough. I was gonna go to world height, but, like, I'm kinda lazy. Okay. Up next, soul sand. Boom. This gives you your... <laughs> my nose for upward movement. It's about to get confusing. So he says you put water in the top. So one empty bucket in each of these bad boys. Takes me back to, uh, takes me back to my first job, man. Did a repetitive movement like this all day. It just was terrible. We're gonna add in the redstone and supposedly adding the redstone is gonna make it go... Excuse me. Okay, this, this doesn't appear to be working correctly <laughs> already. He did it, like, he did it pretty quick. He went pretty speedy on there, so boom, 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 boom. No, I did it wrong, out of order, and, and buckets are falling. His buckets aren't, why are my buckets fall? Something's wrong here. So it wants us to next up, put glass next to them, and then push them with the piston. I think this dude's trolling us, I don't know. Guys, here comes the moment of truth. It doesn't even, it doesn't even push it. It doesn't even push the freaking glass, man. This is the, this is the most colossal TikTok hack fail I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. It's hideous. There's just literally no redeeming quality about this build. This is the worst thing I've ever made in my life. I'm ashamed. So a lot of people out there all around the world claim they have the best TNT cannon ever. We've got four different people that submitted TNT cannon hacks. And I've never built one before, but we're going to figure out which one of these actually works the best. So this is a, this is one for Isaac here. Let's see what we got. Three dispensers in a corner, white block in the center, a little bit of water. I'm getting nervous when we're seeing dispensers and water again, guys. I'm not going to lie. Some roof action. Oh, there's a lot here. This is not easy. You know what? This might be good. That is a repertoire of shooting. That's probably borderline not the right word, but felt correct. Let's launch them towards the villagers. You know, what are villagers here for if not to launch TNT at and destroy with giant nuclear bombs? What? Dispenser triangle. Your boy puts water in the center and that's all I remember. <laughs> I think he also put some things back here and I think there was redstone on top of this. And I'll also point out, I find it weird that he used a ladder and not a sign. When did we start using ladders? Am I, am I a boomer now? Now the tough part. He puts down a slab. I like how I say this is tough. I literally have to place a slab and I'm like, hmm, it's a little bit too much for me. Okay, that seems good. Three here. And then he puts three redstone torches underneath and then it starts triggering it. Oh my, <laughs> what the heck is this? Uh, I guess now we'll float up a TNT and see what happens. Here we go. Maybe we did it wrong. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. Okay, so this is our on-off lever. What I forgot to do, apparently was put TNT in these. The, the other one that goes in there and explodes is, is in the water and that explodes and then that shoots these out and then these explode. I think I got it, guys. This is a big brain moment. I just wanna say a, a couple of quick words here to our villagers that have sacrificed themselves for our experimentation today. <laughs> I do have a pretty good villager voice. All right, guys, let's let her rip. Wait, no, no, I gotta put redstone here. Yes, 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 start launching them. Oh, it's so weak. But I do be launching them, though. I feel like mine just doesn't have that that sideways force we wanted to destroy. Oh, no, nope. a couple of them are. What happened? Oh, we ran. Oh, Okay, there's the first one, guys. So this next one has way less likes, no description of what it is at all, and is also on Bedrock Edition, which concerns me, but it seems a lot easier, and I'm, I'm, I like the Obsidian fact that I can't blow it up, so we'll see if we can get like maybe a six out of 10. I think, I'm pretty sure this one's easy. I do like the, oh, I like I like what I'm seeing here. It's just, is it a one-time use? It's a one-time use. That's it. Okay. All right, here comes uh, example number two. Now this one does have the, the uh, ability to float, which is a pretty big feature, I feel like. I'm pretty sure that's the entire build. 
Oh, it does work. So this one is like, your, you know, your single lock action. You gotta slow down a little bit with it. You can't just get out there and machine gun it because you know what happens when you machine gun TNT? This happens. This one is for people who like to take it slow. If you're, if you're really quick about it, you might even be able to get two of them. Look at this. See, this is an organic shot and then it might even explode the other one. See, I'm a fan of it. It, it reminds me of what you'd see back in the 80s when people, when people played Minecraft back then. So I'm gonna give this one like a solid five. What if I told you, you could turn into any mob without using a mod, without using a hacked client, without cheating, without using slash disguise on my server? You'd say, Love your life. Would you say that to me? Well, I'm about to show you right now how it's done and then we're gonna see if it's even possible. Name yourself morph. Use this command. Okay, you have to name yourself morph. Use another command block. Oh boy. And then your boy is turned into a cattle. You might be a little glitchy. Very quick tutorial here. But this could be this could be game changing, guys. We're gonna name ourselves morph. Beautiful. All right, all done, guys. Thanks. We're done today. Go home. That's it. This is this is where things get a little bit confusing, and I don't like this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I just altered the code. Hacker man has been enabled. If you guys see this uh, anonymous, you guys see what I'm doing here. You can recruit me, but I probably won't join because I'm too good. <laughs> you know, I just. Anyway, now I got to do another, and this is on a repeat. Always active. Boom. All right. So step one, I become invisible. Step two, I'm gonna say always active. Probably repeat as well. I don't actually know. Go. What is it? Oh wait, do I have to hold the? Oh wait, 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 wait. Wait. I think I know, guys. I think you didn't show us something. I think we got to name an animal we want to turn into. Morph. So this might actually work. It didn't work. Guys, I got a I got a better I got a better solution to this. All right. First off, command blocks suck. But second off, what if to turn into a mob instead of doing commands, you just change your skin? Think about it, guys. I know it's I know it's a futuristic idea. Don't mess around with that. It's totally crap and too hard. And I don't do well with command blocks, so it's kind of embarrassing for me. Let's move on. This next one, it looks like it's made by someone who's like five to ten years old. I'm not, I hate no hate against you, man. I love what you did. Very difficult to follow. It's very manual, like a like a semi-auto, like. Like you could shoot it a little quicker, a little bit more control. Might be the best of both worlds. We're gonna find out. Let's do it. You put down some. <laughs> I don't know what the. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure what's going on here. Bail the little thing out of tons of uh, iron. You put down a TNT shooter and you turn it on and it goes. It's just not an easy thing to follow. I'm gonna try to make it. This one is definitely getting the Gucci board for most expensive. I am very unconfident that this one's gonna work. That that and then that like that's a weird i'm not gonna lie to you that's just uncomfortable to me i don't like what i did there then he takes these out these must be like the launching apparatus the slingshot section of it oh no wait there, hold up there's no water in here <laughs> well it's still weird there is water here though okay so so far i've kind of feel like we're actually kind of doing it right which is kind of weird to me because it's really hard to follow so now we're actually changing it i think he messed up in the video so this is actually a dispenser and then there's actually a dispenser in front of that dispenser this is this is a weird one in the back he puts a button down he puts a redstone torch on top we're creating some weird kind of abomination over here uh load your boy up with as much cannon fuel as you want so this is a final build might work better because it might not blow itself up and that is what we're after today looks good looks good looks good oh hey it worked so this guy's i said was semi-auto an improvement on the last one so let's just see how true that really is it is launching them. It is. They're kind of baby launches. I'm not gonna lie. They're really not getting too far. I don't know. It's, it's tough for me to rate this one. I really don't like it, to be honest with you. I like the old fashioned feel of this one more. I'm gonna give this one a two. This is my least favorite one so far. All right, we've all we've all seen secret bases. I even have a video where I had 100 chests. We've seen thousands of ways to hide a base. But this, what's about to be shown to you, is a way to hide a base that you've never seen in your entire life. This is possibly game breaking, possibly never before seen, and possibly included by Notch himself. I'm just making this up. It's actually pretty legit though. Check it out. Make your sand sink on top of these fences. You put water in. It, and now there's water inside the sand fence and then you can literally swim through solid blocks like check this out so you're like okay cool but what's that useful for this is how it could be used that's pretty legit man um i have a 99.9999999999 percent certainty it's not going to work for us but i don't want you to be too excited for this one all right it just seems sketchy to me so step one open the gate step two who do you hate step three you're on a date got him okay uh sand you guys we're on to a pretty decent start here i'm not gonna lie now when i close it does it how did he now how did he did this. Oh, and it breaks and it doesn't seem to be working. Deep down inside, I'm sad that this isn't working for me. Maybe on Bedrock it does. You guys can try this one yourself and see because you might have the ultimate secret base if you do. That's an F though for me. Now, a lot of us out there, we got those friends that just kind of steal all of our stuff. They ignore us. They don't talk to us. They come into our base and take our diamonds. And maybe you want to get a little wrench. Maybe you want to say, hey, I'm not ready to be messing around with anymore. I'm not here to play anymore. I'm here to take charge because this is my town. This is my mine. First off, find new friends. Second off, build this trap right here to trap them forever. Check this out. My boy here builds a long tubular device and puts a single piece of diamond ore at the end and says, <laughs> what could that be? Put some sticky pistons down there, link them together and a pressure plate in the center. You guys know where this is going. That's right, C cannibalism. You're gonna trap them in here and you're gonna consume them because they will be stuck. They will be unable to escape and you can make this even better and make it truly impossible. And then you will eat their bodies and consume their flesh one bite at a time. Okay, 
Got a little weird. Make sure you build this one on the surface, guys, uh, where diamond naturally spawns. Now, at the end of this build, I'm gonna tell you exactly why you wanna be using this one. Exactly why, because I know you're thinking, like, you could just break the stone. You could just get right through there and break it. Like, I'm gonna show you. You just wait, all right? You just hang tight, put down your pistons, connect the bad boys in the central unit line, bring this across, and then a single pressure plate. Now, when we go through, Boom, we're trapped, <laughs> maybe a little farther away so you can't actually get the diamond. But you're like, oh my gosh, Zach, it's so easy to get out. All you gotta do is just break this block and then you're free to get. Yes, that is the case. And it's a stupid hack and there's no way to fix it because you can't move any other hard blocks with it. I don't see a way you can make this more usable unless you did this. You're gonna have to be a little bit careful about it. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. You could hide a dispenser back there and perhaps put a little lava in it and maybe even cover it with a painting. You walk in, trigger it, and it spits lava at it just gives you a bucket of lava. So what this man claims to have built is not only the strongest, fastest, biggest boom, most griefable design. Guys, make sure you don't use these on my server. I just wanna make that clear. It is a manual load up, lock the bullets in there, and then you just trigger it once, it all flows down, and then just look at the distance on that sucker. I mean, that thing, that thing launches. Not very fast, I, I completely lied to you. Try to hype it up. But the thing is, this one really has that Civil War cannon feel to it. It just feels good, it feels natural. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like there's a high chance this one will blow itself up. So let's give it a shot though. You start at the bottom because that doesn't get the water source gone and you leave one at the top, then a singular button up here at the top. And if this works, it should. By my calculations, use the water flow to flow the TNT down to the very bottom and then where it will ignite the TNT. This TNT will be ignit, but I think these need to spread out to ignit correctly. So I'm gonna target that house right there. Put on my TNT goggles. Let's let it rip. Okay, it's moving very slowly. Oh, hey. Oh my God, oh my goodness, look at the distance. Oh my goodness, folks. We have maybe have found the best TNT cannon yet. Come on, baby. Why was our first one so good and now we're getting these baby launches? Give me big boy launch. I think it's just really about that water flow. You know, that's really what determines. That was even worse. Why is this thing losing power? Yeah, this is just a real, this is a real unreliable cannon, guys. At the end of the day, these things all suck. But if I had to pick my favorite, probably this one, just except it blew itself up. I'm gonna up this score to a seven. This one gets a six. This one gets a negative 5,000 billion, million, jillion, gazillion, patrillion. I hate it. This one, this one's unique. You could do a little something with this one. Click that screen. Peace.